wonder how often you think about the cross. I don't just mean the cross, the fact there's a man crucified, nailed to two bits of wood. Do you look at Jesus on the cross and wonder about why it is those particular wounds were inflicted upon him? Look at his head. Around his head, there is a crown of thorns. That crown is crucifying the thoughts. It's crucifying my thoughts and your thoughts, everything that's ever been done wrong. And that goes around his head to put to death all that we have thought that is wrong. His hands are nailed, immobilised. The reason why his hands are immobilised is because they stop things that are being done with our hands, stealing, writing, typing, anything that is wrong. Jesus' hands have been immobilised so that we can think about what our hands do and stop them. Jesus' feet have been nailed to the cross, immobilised, stopped. They cannot walk any further. And in the same way, our feet are to stop. Stop going into places where we know we should not go. Stop going into places where sin can and will be committed. They've been immobilised. And Jesus' side, Jesus' side has a lance pushed through it. It goes all the way into his heart. The heart, the seat of the emotions, where we have our impulses, our drives, in many ways makes us who we are. So Jesus' heart is lanced, stopped. And in the same way, he's inviting us to stop those drives, stop those thoughts, stop those ways of being that propel us into sinfulness, wrong. Stop us being the wrong people that we are. And all those things are being put to death upon Jesus' cross. What's left? Well, it's the good thoughts. It's hands that can now do good. It's feet that can only go in the direction that God allows and sponsors, going to do good, to impart good news and love. And it's a heart that's now only fit for the work of God. Its desires and its impulses are now the desires and impulses of God. Everything else has been stripped away. It's a good heart. A good head, good hands and feet. Look at Jesus upon the cross. Look at ourselves. That's what he went through so that we can be more like him. God's through and through. So let's pray. Loving God, thank you that you can make us better people. Help us to want to be better people. Help us to use our minds to be good and plan ahead to do good things. Help us to use our hands to do good and to be kind. Help us to use our feet to do good, taking us towards the people who need us as we do good. And help our heart, everything we are about ourselves, help that to be good. Amen.